and I, I'm sure a lot of other people would agree, after a certain period of playing in a, in a session, you're just done with it. You're like, I'm over it. I'm done. You know, there's only so many times you can get killed with like a eight to 10 kill game when you're running around killing people and then you get killed by someone laying prone in the grass. Good for them. They got the kill, but it gets kind of frustrating after a while. Most of the people only come on and they, they play when they get home from work. They play for a couple hours and go to bed and they're just like, man, that was a fun PUBG session. But dude, when you're playing this game for like eight to 10 straight hours, five to six days a week, Ooh, man, start figuring the ins and outs of what's going on in this game, certain strategies and what people can do to try to win. And then you get killed by someone who doesn't understand or, you know, maybe out in the blue, they're trying to get in, but they don't realize that by shooting in the blue that they're going to bring attention to themselves. So then they get killed, but they kill you first, right? But they're in the blue and they're just dead and they don't realize it. Cause what goes through my head is like, okay, yeah, that guy's just playing the game, but he's not really playing to win. Some people may argue, oh, you kill a guy, you kill a guy, well, you're eliminating him from the game. So you're advancing your chances to win the game. I mean, I guess in a really dumbed down reality, yeah, that is true. But if by killing that player, you jeopardize your position and give your position away to cause you to lose the game, then you killing that guy, although taking him out of the game and advanced you closer to winning, that did not allow you to win. So theoretically, you lost the game for yourself. It definitely boils over, chat. I'll say it boils over. And I don't like it to, but it does. And I think it boils over for a lot of streamers, right? I mean, and then a lot of a lot of people's uh, criticisms come off as complaining. And then some people just have had enough, right? Because then people are like, oh, this person's nothing but a complainer. Oh, man. It's unfortunate that they feel that way, but where'd this guy go? There was a guy here. Sorry for the rambling, chat. But there's a guy around me somewhere. Right there! Oh my god! No! That's actually a really good example of what just happened, right? When I was saying that, oh, there's that guy I could shoot at him. Maybe if I'm lucky, I could kill him. But I know that a guy's around. That dude was actually right by that cop car. So if I would have shot right there, even if I got lucky and killed him, would that have brought me closer to winning the game? Sure, because there's one less player, right? So technically, yeah, right? But I would have revealed my position to that guy and probably would have gotten killed because he would have had the advantage on me then because he would know where I am and I wouldn't know where he is. You know what I mean? And that's the type of stuff that I think about when I'm playing the game constantly. It just, it just comes second nature now after playing the game for so long. Smokes. a 1v1 i knew the guy was over there i just didn't look at the i wasn't looking at the scoreboard so i was stupid um that guy should have beat me chat he must not have had a grenade he must not have had a grenade because if he had a grenade he kills me for free if it's a 1v1 
Can you get on those ships? Yes, you can. Is there loot on those ships? Yes, there are. Yes, there is. Is it a bug? That attachments don't automatically go on the weapons? I think it is. Like, it's when I have the tack pack. Whenever I have the tack pack, my attachments don't go on. Which is actually quite annoying, but I, I don't know. I don't know why that is. He sees me. He's up there. That tree's got me covered pretty good, but he's not there anymore. Or is he? How did he get away and I didn't see him? Oh, it's a nade. Pretty good one, too. It's CDG, dude. Look at this flush protection, chat. The flush protection. This is what the Bud Clan buys you. That's what the Bud Clan buys you right there, chat. Flush protection. I don't know anything about EU solos. There's definitely going to be people coming in here. I want to get back over here and I want to check these crates. Because there could be a fresh three vest on one of these. Or there's a guy just hiding here. What's up, buddy? I didn't shoot at that guy because I don't want to blow my cover in the wide open. cover will be blown anyways but since that guy shot now all those other dudes are looking at him see how that works <laughs> what's up baby it's the old turn and burn bro So one of the guys is in the warehouses here. The other guy unknown, prone somewhere, of course. He could be freaking anywhere, dude, in these bushes. Had to come out baby the zone was moving oh my gosh that freaking turn and burn earlier in the game chat absolutely insane i thought i was a goner man we'll check the replay okay well he had a 3x too oh man he How far is that? Almost a hundred meters. <gasps> I'll look at that from my perspective again, chat. This was nuts. This is probably one of my greatest spray moments of all time. <gasps> oh my gosh.